Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in our testing playlist. In this video, we'll build our note list view model, test it, and also the UI for our note list screen, which is this one. We'll also set up our navigation, so all of that in this video, and let's get started with it. Let's go to our note list, not domain, let's create a new package called presentation, where we will have our view model. So inside presentation, create our note list view model. We first want to inject it with health view model. Let's create space and then inject some dependencies. Actually here we need to annotate it with health view model, not inject. But what we need here is private var get all notes use case and then private var delete notes use case. Okay, so these are the two use cases we need. We need to extend view model like this. Good, now we have our class set up. We have two states for this screen. Let's actually check that out. We have the note list itself, so all the notes that we have in here, let's add a new note, like new, let's choose some image, like image, whatever, and then save that. So this list is a state, and then the order that we want to order it with is also a state. Of course, the number here is not a state because that's just the size of the list, so we don't want to make it a state. Good. Now, creating our first state, which is our private var note list state, is going to be a mutable state flow of type list of note item and then by default it's going to be just an empty list then let's create the public version which is my note list state that is going to be underscore note list state dot as state flow okay so here i have my first state let me just now duplicate this for the second one that is the order Let's name it order by title state. That is a Boolean, or we don't have to specify the type because we can just write false in here. Okay, so T has to be capital and then it's paste it here and here. So here I have my second state. Now I will have three functions, one to load all the notes and one to delete a note and then one to change the order. These are the three functions or two, the three actions that we can do. We can definitely create an, an action class or an event class in which we have all those actions, but I think three is not that big to have a dedicated class for that. So fun, this is load notes. Okay, now we won't implement the function yet until we actually write the test for it. The second function is fun, delete note. That definitely takes a notes item that we want to delete and then fun change order you could say that's it these are all the three functions that we have now let's create a test for it so to test a view model actually this view model will be locally unit tested so this view model doesn't have access to any underweight framework stuff even though if you see here underweight lifecycle no actually this view model can be tested with our local tests right here okay so that's exactly why we avoid passing context or anything like so to our view model because we want to unit test it so right click on it generate test keep the note list view model test and then okay choose unit test right here and that's it the test is generated open that and let's get started with it so just like the other test that we did with our Use cases, we actually need the same stuff in here, so we just copy them to save some time, which are these things. Because the view model depends on them. We will actually need an extra thing later, but we'll see. We'll see it when we need it. Now let's get an instance of my view model itself. Private late init var note list view model is of type note list view model. Now, in the before function or the setup function, we want to initialize those. So yeah, just like this. So we want to pass the lead notes and also fake, actually not repository. And maybe I don't have the other use case, which is private list in its var get all notes of type get all notes. So let's initialize that as well. Get all notes is going to be get all notes, passing my fake repository. Now I just need to pass that to my view model, get all notes. Great. As you can see, if we check the view model, that is, that's exactly what it needs. Get all notes and the lead notes. Okay. So that's it for the setup now. And let's just close this and let's test the first function in which we load all the notes. So right here, the first thing that we want to test is when we're trying to get the notes from an empty list. Okay, or an empty database you could say. So add test, this is going to be fun, get notes from 
an empty list this we expect it to return or actually we expect the state the list state or the note list state to be empty okay so note list state is empty we don't have to write state note list is empty this is again is going to be run test like this since we want an empty list we want to use now our fake repository which is this one and we want to explicitly tell it that we want to have uh, what we say a non field list or an empty list by passing false to this should have field list and we already saw that if it's false the list won't be actually filled but instead it will be just an empty mutable list after that we want to get all the notes so that's going to be my notes view model dot load notes and now I want to check that and assert that my list state is actually empty so assert that and import it my notes view model or my note list view model dot note list state dot value dot is empty dot is true so it is truly empty now the test will fail or maybe it won't fail because actually uh, we don't update the list so it will f it won't uh, fail but it doesn't mean that it's working properly because we're not trying to get anything the test may pass or actually it doesn't because we made a mistake here in the view model we need to inject the constructor so inject constructor like this import inject and let's run the test again and see what will happen so the test pass but it doesn't mean it's working fine because we expect an empty list and the list is already empty so now let's implement our function this is going to be a view model scope dot launch let's import that and then we'll update my list or my note list state dot update to get notes use case dot invoke the order maybe i need to also import launch in here the order is going to be my order by title state dot value so if that's true then we will actually order by title otherwise we won't now the function is implemented let's run the test and the test will fail and we'll see why and we'll fix that as well because we need something extra in our state in our test as you can see the test failed and the reason why is that we're trying to run this test in the main view in the main dispatcher but instead we need to create a test dispatcher so how do we do that we need to go to our root package to fix this error right here in our root package and then we want to create a new class called main coroutine rule so a new rule for that this rule will have a constructor that takes a var dispatcher of type test dispatcher that is going to be standard test dispatcher and let's import that as well we we'll need this a lot actually because when we use this uh, view model scope and without that rule our tests will always fail so we need that okay so here we want this one to extend test watcher like this and then let's just create some space down here and now we need two functions we need to override two functions in here which are the starting and then the finished functions okay in the starting we want to call the spatchers dot sit main so let's import that and then import this as well sit main and then pass in my dispatcher i'm making this one public because we need it in our tests and then right here we're going to call reset main so that we remove that when we finish our test great we need to add some experimental annotation we can add that to the class signature itself and that's it that's all we need we need this once and now let's create the new rule that will make us fix this issue so right here that's going to be at get rule var main coroutine rule that is going to be actually my main coroutine rule that's it now let's run the test again and you see that it now passes as you can see the list is empty just with my coroutine rule because now i'm doing this test in a test dispatcher instead of the main dispatcher in which we actually had this view model scope as you can see this one so this is it for the first test in which we just make sure that the list is actually empty at first when we have an empty list now how about if we don't have an empty list we want to make sure that the list is not empty okay so get notes from a filled list note list is not empty that's what we expect so should it have a filled list actually now true we do want it to and then we just call it but now again the test will fail let's actually run that and we'll see why 
and it passes because here it should be is not empty actually so let's run it again it should fail now and now it fails so the reason why if we go here i already implemented the function so the list is updated as you can see it should be filled but the problem is with this view model scope that what happens is that we get to this point in the test before actually this state is updated because this one is running this task independently of the rest of the sequence of code okay this one is not updated yet but then we already get here now how do we tell it to wait so how do we tell this assertion to wait until our task finishes by using our main coroutine scope which is this one or i mean rule i'm sorry so that's going to be so every time i need to call a function in which i have that right here for example i need to wait for it until it finishes so that's going to be my main routine role dot dispatchers dot scheduler dot advanced until idle okay and now let's run our test again and see if it passes or not it now passes because we fixed that routine issue that we had let's also rerun this one because we changed it it also passes so now this is it for getting a list from a failed list now we want to test deleting a node so let's just copy this again so this could be delete note from list and then we expect the note is deleted so we want to have a fill list again but then we want to take one of these items that you want to delete like this second one for example and then we want to create an instance of it so our note is going to be this one so we want to delete this one from the list okay so note item we can bring this to a new line and then right here i'm going to call my uh, notes view model dot delete note passing my note to delete wait for it and then i want to check my state it doesn't contain my note that i want to delete so this is false but the thing is that it doesn't contain it at first anyway so how do we handle this by actually using this one again first of all we need to load the notes so it will be something like fake or actually notes view model dot load notes at first first of all you need to have notes to be delete, to be able to delete them now i can either delete this one or i can just pass the first element in my state or so in this list state but this is the same let's run this one and see if we actually delete that we won't delete it because we didn't implement the function so let's do that this is going to be a view model scope dot launch and then my delete node dot invoke then delete the node okay let's rerun the test and see what will happen and the test didn't pass let's see why and the reason why is that we didn't update our state so right here we want to reload our notes because that's the problem so let's rerun the test and yes now it passes the second way we could test this is actually when we delete our notes or when we load our notes we can just here so we want to use our notes view model dot no state dot value getting the first item so we want to work with the first item there because we already have a bunch of items as you can see it still passes we have maybe four yeah okay so that's it for deleting test now and then the next test is for sorting so sorting now by date so just delete this sort notes by date and like this so here we could have notes are sorted by date sorted or ordered anyway it's the same we do want to have a field list we want to load our notes at first and then we want to make sure that they are ordered by the actual date and to do that we can just copy it from here to save some time so this is how we check if it's ordered by date or not as we already wrote this the notes in here could be so val notes is going to be this one the no states in my view model okay now we check if they are ordered by date let's also want to check if we change the order to title and then to date again are they reordered by date so to do that call now change order change order actually twice so now at first it is date because the default is date so now they are sorted by date and now we change the order to be sorted by title but then we want to change the order again to be sorted now by date and then we want to assure that it's actually updated again so we want to copy this and then paste it right here okay so we already have notes let's just say notes too and uh, or let's actually make this a var and just update it or change it like this let's now see and understand what's going on first of all we have a field list yes we want to load our notes and then when we load them this order by title is false so they will be ordered by the date because if we if we go here 
that is going to be ordered by date added and then we want to wait for it until it finishes we want to get the state list okay we want to make sure that they are ordered by the date we want to change the order to be now ordered by the title change the order again so make sure that we actually change the order again to be ordered by the date and then update our notes and then ensure that they are ordered by the title i mean by the date again we can definitely copy this paste it here if we want to make sure that now they are ordered by the title if we want to but we just want to test the date in this case and let's just skip it let's run the app the test will fail because maybe we didn't implement our function yet as you can see so let's actually do that change order function that is going to be almost like this except that now we want to update our uh, order by state order by title i mean to be now the opposite value of itself so it so if this is true then it will be false if it's false it will be true let's now rerun the test wait for it and the test passes as you can see but as i said here i'm not trying to see if they are ordered by the title or not only the date i just need to copy this again for the last test which is testing if they are ordered by title so notes sorted by title notes sorted by title or notes are sorted by title so we want to have a fill list again and we don't want to load our notes instead we want to change the order at first that they are loaded at first by the title and then we want to get our notes and then we want to assert that they are ordered by the title like this and that's it this could be a var so what happens is that we have filled list we want to change the order at first what will happen is that this one is false now it will be true we will load our notes so we send true to load them with the title order okay and then we ensure that they are ordered by the title let's run the state i mean the test and the test passes now all i want to do is run all the tests for this view model to make sure that everything passes and as you can see i have like five check green marks which is exactly what i want and that's it for this view model and its test the next thing i want to do here is let's go to our core inside presentation i want to create a new package called util now we'll have one object inside it for now and uh, i will tell you why later so don't worry about it this is just for when we are writing our end-to-end -end tests we want to click on the add note delete note note image enter in text enter in a, a description save the note search for an image pick an image but don't worry about these things now we just need it for the ui because of course i'm not going to build ui in this playlist our playlist is not about how to build compose ui i have a bunch of videos about how to build compose ui that's going to be a lot of time to build this ui so i'm just going to copy it and paste it for you okay so this is now our screen this is the no list screen we have some errors let's try just fixing them we can delete these things and that's it let's just see what we have we need to import r for in which we use string resources i will also paste this screen resources we just first fix any errors that i would have and now let me just paste the screen re uh, string resources so let's go let's go to res values string and then paste those all the strings that we need okay and you already see where we need them so for example this one notes when we show the number of the notes here we have just a string placeholder and the rest are pretty clear i guess okay so how does this screen now work we still have some error we need to import notes item and that's it let's open the app at the same time and see the screen we have now on navigate to details so that just means when we navigate to actually this one on navigate to add notes maybe add notes that's a better name so when we just click on this one to navigate there this lambda is being triggered this is now my view model my note list view model at the beginning of the screen or the launch of the screen i need to load my notes so when we when i launch my app or when i go here add a note save it and then go back again load my notes to be able to display it here and then i have my two states i'm observing my note list state and then order by title state right i have a scaffold that just fills the max size even though i don't think i even need that i don't know but i have a top bar as you can see and it's quite big in the top bar i first have a row in which i have two te a text actually which is this text that displays the number of notes and then another row in the end of the uh, this big row i have another row in which i just have now a text that displays the order type which is date or title and then an icon as you can see when i click on that row 
I change the order. So I call the function in my view model that changes the order. Okay. I have a floating action button, which is clearly this one right here. When I click on it, I call my on navigate to add notes and it has a test tag, which is this add notes fab. We'll see that why we need these test tags, because this is how we would actually know what to click on to navigate to the other screen with, with this test tag. But don't worry about that. We have now our lazy column, as you can see that fits the max size. We have items. We have our list notes item and then a spacer below each item. The item is like this. We have an on delete when we click on deleting. This only is called. We pass the item and the modifier. And then we just have a row that has this image, these texts, and this button. The first thing is an assign image from Quell. We load it. This is now the image URL from my item. So from right here. And then I have a spacer, a column in which I have these two texts. So this is the first text. And then the second text, a spacer between them. And then in the end of my, of my row, I have this icon, this X icon or cons or clear or whatever. When I call it, I delete on delete. Of course, this common here has a weight of one F so that it fills all the space except what these two need. So on the on delete, we just call our view model dot on delete. We pass our item that we are trying to delete. That's all we do. That's it for the screen. Now let's set up some navigation. As I said, I'm not trying to build because this is too much code to write, to be honest, and we're not really interested in Jetpack Compose in this playlist. But of course, we will test our UI, we'll test our Jetpack Compose UI, it's just that we want to build it, to save time. Now, what we want to do is set up navigation. So let's go to our core again in presentation here, in my main activity, I want to set up the navigation. First of all, I need the two screens that I need. Let's just paste them. So here are the two screens. I have the note list screen and then the add note. I annotate them with serializable. This is the new way of navigating in Compose, the type safe navigation. We don't have those routes, those string routes anymore. Actually, this is cleaner and better. And then in my main activity, this is going to be my navigation, but I don't actually have this screen yet. So I'm just going to delete it, import nav host, and then import this screen. This one is called on navigate to add note. So add note like that. So I just have a, a nav controller and the start destination is my note list. This is the first one, as you can see, we don't have string routes anymore. This is the first screen, which is my note list. And the second screen, which is my add note, which is something I don't have yet. And right here, I call my navigation. And that's it. We can now try actually running the app for the first time and see if we actually see our screen, but we can't navigate or add any notes yet because we don't have the add notes screen yet. Okay. We can definitely add some dummy notes if we want to and display them but and the app crashes. Let's see why actually it crashes. Let's go up here. The reason why is I'm trying to create this view model in my activity, but I didn't annotate this with under with entry point. Run it again. And we seem to have this edge to edge enabled, which is something I don't want. Let's rerun the app without that. Good, now it's not enabled, but as you can see the top bar color so I want to go to UI theme and change it right here. And this is just how we change it. So we change it to be the same as my background goes to the status bar. And then when it's dark theme, we tell it it's dark theme. When it's not dark theme, we tell it it's not dark theme. And as you can see, it already looks better. Let's change the theme. That's a lot better and good. And this is it for this video. So see you in the next video and bye.